Yes, yes, yes. Playing as who is here? Well, the beta is, and um, I've been playing it a lot uh, since uh, it released one week ago. Um, what you're seeing here is actually my first park ever in the uh, in the build, in the beta build, and I was thinking, oh, let's make a park. Uh, I can put it on a workshop. People can play with me or play the park. Um, so I spent like uh, 50 hours building this park. And then I tried to upload it to the workshop, but it wasn't an option. So I basically uh, did it only for this video. So well, I hope you enjoy it because uh, I spent a lot of time uh, in the um, in the game for this. So well, uh, I mean, it's the first time me playing this game. Uh, obviously, it's very similar to Planet Coaster. Uh, controls all I, uh, are basically identical, but. The focus lies a bit more with management this time. I um, I think I recorded like 20 hours of footage, but only. Um, well, I cut it down. The building is cut down to like 20 minutes of sped up footage. So you can see that really. I didn't spend too much time building. I, most of my time was management, and it's really fun. It's really buggy too at the moment, but. I can really see potential uh, in this game. Now here I'm just building a, a I had like a entrance building in mind, but I didn't know you had to research all the different themes because only in the, the beta is only um, a campaign mission and uh, franchise mode available. Send Mox mode uh, isn't yet, so. Apparently you have to research every theme, so the only things I got here is like the basic stuff you start out with, but I did my best to make something useful out of it. Um, I mean, it looks alright in the end. I've, uh, in the meantime, I've made um, another blueprint that I put on the workshop actually, that is uh, something that I'm a bit, a bit more proud of. But I mean, this was nice to, uh, to learn the game a bit, you know. So. Obviously, this game doesn't have roller coasters, which is kind of my thing, so we'll have to improvise. Well, the game has animals, which is, yeah, it's fun. It's a zoo game, right? But the great thing about Planet Zoo is it also has weather this time. So there's rain and there's snow, there's temperature, there's climates, there's different biomes. And it all really works together in the, in the gameplay, too, and you have to carefully choose which foliage you place in the habitats of animals so that they like it and all that stuff and it's, it brings a nice challenge to the game um, if you care about like the franchise mode because if you place the wrong items down the, the animals will basically die in, uh, in disgust yeah um, yeah this entrance doesn't look too great at the moment but I, I made some changes uh, uh, later on, which I didn't record because my hard drive space was full and I didn't know that So that's always nice to find out if you're recording uh, Eight hours of footage and it's only recorded 20 minutes of it But I will I will show the spark off in a separate video There's two parts of me building and then there will be a separate video But my thoughts on the game so far as well I, uh, It's nice. It's different. I think I'm gonna enjoy it a lot when uh, they've fixed all the bugs, because there's quite a few. Actually, some that make the game quite a bit unplayable sometimes. A lot of crashes and all that kind of stuff. Also, this game's really hard. Like, extremely hard if you don't know what you're doing. Um, somehow I managed to uh, make my zoo survive the first time, but people are complaining that it's too hard. There's too much management. Oh, because they've come from Planet Ghost and Planet Ghost is more like a sandbox game with some management uh, aspects in it but this time it's real baby oh my god yeah um yeah uh, it's a nice game I love the animals and um, the lighting is also way better and um, in the, if it's dark you really have to put effort into the lighting and it's a real challenge and like nice new experience I guess. Yeah, you see me a bit struggling with the pieces I have available. 
So for the end, well, for the whole park, I choose one style. It's basically like this. A uh, sandstone building with a wooden roof and poles around it. The African theme isn't in the beta yet, so I had to improvise a bit. Because all of my animals in the park are basically from Africa. Oh! I haven't talked about the name of the park. It's called Murembe Zoo. And that means... Uh, Murembe means... Uh, pretty in Swahili. I guess that it was a lie. But, oh well, I thought it was like a nice catchy, catchy name for this park. But now, in hindsight, um, now that I have all the pieces available to me uh, that I've researched, I would have done this very differently. But still, I mean, it doesn't look bad, but yeah, yeah. oh, you can uh, you could see there uh, the foliage and then it's, all, it's much better. It looks way better. Like, like it's another level. Like, oh, love the love the trees and the bushes. Oh, well, I guess I didn't like these ones, but oh, still, yeah. Um, I'm also gonna do a trick later on where I uh, basically cover the paths I laid out with roof tile pieces, so you can see um, the paths. But it will make it look like one big plaza. But we'll, we'll get to that in the next episode, I think. I'm putting reeds behind the poles here. I don't know how they get water. I guess it's the magic, but that made it look well, cool, I guess. Now, uh, here I made a little like, extension of the building and I put down the first uh, reptile exhibit buildings. Oh, I guess we'll come to that back later. Okay, yes. Oh, here we are. I put spiders in there, frogs and um, uh, snaky snakes and in the beginning they were really popular and they are very very easy to breed yeah there's breeding in this game um, you can't see them do it which is a bit of a shame but uh, you can basically make the perfect animal and then you can trade them on an online auction house where people can buy them uh, at the moment it's a bug bit buggy and the prices are really inflated and I don't, to be honest I don't really like it. They, they're gonna do an offline uh, version too, which I'm probably gonna play. Yeah, oh, I'm uh, just um, improving it here. I'm also placing the, placing the reeds down here. I, I um, You can see me, there's a bit of a cut footage because, well, I've got to play uh, the hit the record button. But there's... Um, a drink shop, a food shop, and a souvenir shop at the end of the building here. And uh, I added P files here. I didn't even say that. Yeah, peacocks, P files. I don't know what to call them. Um, they only need a tiny bit of space. So I thought it was a nice animal to start out with. Some more poly poly work here. And we have quite a bit of uh, balls in this park. Where I like uh, we had the pipes in the black gold thing. Yeah, if you guys remember that. More reeds. I, uh, by the way, this is all gonna change in a <laughs> in the final uh, final video because well, I came back to it later, wasn't happy with it. You know how it goes. Oh, here we are building the next uh, habitat, the African wild dogs, which are basically like discount wolves, but they tolerate higher temperatures. That's also a weird thing because in the in the beta, there's only a grassland biome available which is fine but it's in Asia so normally you, you would associate like these trees with Africa they are only from Africa but I mean I guess it could be India and I made a nice little shelter here for the wolves with rocks and I, I basically did that for every animal because well I just wanted to learn the game uh, yeah I mean, it's cool, but it's a bit overused already. So more rocky rocks, a little pond for the drugs to drink. I think I already built a... Oh yeah, you see, like a split second of a tur 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 turtle, turtle habitat, which I didn't record again because, well, I failed. Um, which is almost entirely covered. They need a lot of like hard cover in their habitat. Just finishing off the, the entrance building here. 
a lot of copy paste work it's all the same so i will be cutting like roofing and uh, that kind of stuff in the upcoming bits but yeah the pfp files have a nice bit of cover from my entrance building which i thought was pretty dope then i didn't have to build a separate shelter for them they only need cover that's uh, enough for them some animals animals don't even need a uh, hard cover they can just like be outside yeah not not really yeah uh, i would i would build this so much differently now now looking back at it oh you also saw a power facility there that's also a uh, thing in planet coaster you have to manage power and um you have to have clean water so you need like a filtration station which break down and then mechanics have to fix it and it's a bit buggy at the moment but we're nearing the end of this video already i only i like some short videos um yeah here i'm doing that roofy uh roof tile thing for the flooring and you can really see how it turns into one big space and it's a secret technique i use always i used it in jollywood too you guys know that yeah, I hope to see you guys next episode uh, where we're already fin finishing off this little parky park. And then, uh, yeah, see you guys later. Bye-bye.